I do think it, as his friend that you ought to insist as quickly as he can that he get a man here for Rostow's place, whoever's going to be his top man in the White House and whoever's going to be his top man at state and defense. Because I just don't believe a man in, in 30 days can possibly take it and run it. I don't think you can fly 707 in 30 days. Yeah. And if you're going to have to fly it, you better get in there. Now, he, he'll have men with experience, but he doesn't know all these things that are coming up. I'm meeting now in a kind of an emergency meeting with Fowler, Russ, Clifford, Bill Martin, and all of them on uh, the devaluation of the Frank. Uh, in addition to that, I've got a dozen new cables in on South Vietnam and North Vietnam shot down a reconnaissance plane this morning, and 10 Israelis were killed yesterday in the Middle East. The Soviets are talking about going into Romania. Uh, if they go in there like they did Czechoslovakia, the question is, what do we do when they go in there in Yugoslavia? Do we sit here and let them take all Eastern Europe on the heel of what? Now, all those things are happening every second. Right. And those three men ought to be known, and if you select men of competence, right. uh, we'll turn them over everything uh, to help them. Uh, a matter of fact, you remember Woodrow Wilson wrote Lansing uh, and said if Hughes is elected, as he thought he might very well be, that he believed he'd talk to the vice president and get him to resign, and he and the vice president resigned instead of waiting until March. They'd appoint Hughes secretary of state, and then the Secretary of State would become president, so the country wouldn't be in that danger during that period. That was during the World War I. Yeah. Uh, that didn't happen because uh, Wilson carried California. Right. Uh, and we moved up March to January the, uh, 20th. the 20th. But uh, it wouldn't have been, it'd be wiser if they took over November the 6th. Right. Because uh, 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 this. Uh, this is very difficult, this period, and you know, when I made the decision on Vietnam, uh, uh, I had a treaty that they had signed, 82 to 1, telling me to do it, and I got a Tonkin Gulf resolution, said you were directed to deter aggression. I got it 504 to 2, and even with that, uh, they turned on me. Now, a fella gets in over there now on any of these things, the Middle East, you got no treaty, you got nothing. Right. And uh, if you don't get in, uh, it's too late. So it's a very precarious uh, and dangerous situation. And these boys always take uh, uh, take uh, uh, advantage of it. Right. And uh, I think that every time he can, my mail shows universal approval. I haven't received one criticism, and uh, I've had more compliments of, of the president-elect and myself than I've ever had before on uh, his statement out here saying that uh, we were going to be united. And, I think every time that he can say that Murphy is following everything and he is aware of it and he's keeping right up with everything and that uh, there's no division on these things uh, and going to be none until January the 20th, the better it is because that that doesn't give the Russians any encouragement. They moved in the Q uh, they, they moved in the, the Cuban Missile Crisis came October 22nd, just a few days before our election. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they do everything and. Uh, this, this bunch of fools that moved in and got to South Vietnam not to go to the conference because of Nixon. Yeah. Uh, they just screwed up everything, and we've, uh, we, it's taken us three or four weeks. And I didn't expose it because I just couldn't use those sources, and I didn't want to make it impossible for him to govern. I think if I had a stat said to the country that this is a, uh, an exposed, this brought it out, I think it would have shocked the country so that uh, he would have been seriously hurt. And uh, so I just told you, and he told Erkson, and got it kind of back on the track again. Right. But that damn woman is still messing around, causing trouble. That uh, Ms. Uh, Chanel. All right, well, that's very informative, and I'll pass it on to fellow New York uh, and tell him what you said.